Greetings everyone, I'm Poisey, and today I'll walk you through the Guardian Druid Mage Tower Challenge Guide in WoW Dragonflight. Firstly, let's dive into the talents. Here's the recommended talent tree for this challenge. For your convenience, I've also provided the talent tree in the description below. In the Mage Tower, character gear scales down to a 120 item level. While many top tier players manage to conquer the tower with a level 60 character in basic gear and no consumables, if you're looking for a little edge, here's a compilation of the best consumables that could give you a leg up. If mastering the Mage Tower isn't on your agenda and you're looking for a quicker way, consider conquestcapped.com. With a stellar five-star rating on Trustpilot, they promise efficient completions for any class and specialization without account sharing, and they ensure a no-ban guarantee. All in under 15 minutes? More details in the description. The initial phase of the challenge pits you against Inquisitor Varus, who emanates an aura of decay. Counter this by shifting into Moonkin form and harnessing Moonkin abilities for ranged attacks. Varus is not without his tricks. Watch out for Mindrend, his ranged attack, and Drain Life, which needs an interrupt to stop him from healing to full. From time to time, nether horror minions will appear. They unleash a pulsing AoE, but a timely, incapacitating roar after they start casting can disrupt them. To divert their attention from Velen, use Bark Skin and hit each with Moonfire. Watch out for the demonic eyes. If they begin to channel a beam on you, face them head on or you'll find yourself immobilized. They're impervious to physical damage, so a few casts of Moonfire should do the trick. Lastly, watch out for the smoldering infernals summoned by the Inquisitor. The strategy here is simple. Kite them, tag with Moonfire, and keep your focus on damaging the main boss. Entering Phase 2, it's essentially a DPS race. Prep yourself by holding back all DPS cooldowns, potions, and drums, aiming to wrap this stage up in a mere 60 seconds. Remember, the minions from Phase 1 aren't done. They'll keep popping up in Phase 2, requiring your attention even as you grapple with Cruel. Cruel's arsenal includes Annihilate, Nether Stomp, and Twisted Reflection. The stacking debuff from Annihilate ups its damage, but with Velen's Holy Orbs and a well-timed Mighty Bash, you can extend the time before the damage becomes unmanageable. For Nether Stomp, sidestep the fiery patches it leaves. Twisted Reflection is the one to watch. An interrupt using Skull Bash is crucial, or you risk a significant heal for Cruel. If you miss the interrupt, use a holy orb to remove the debilitating effect. As for the purple cutter beams, being a druid lets you nonchalantly stroll through. Though brief, this encounter packs a punch with numerous challenges and potential missteps, like the peril of being hurled off the platform. If you'd rather bypass this ordeal, conquestcapped.com has your back. Find the link in the description. Until next time, farewell everyone. Stay tuned for more content.